I don't know if something like this will ever exist, but we don't have to wait for it. The final result of subtasks is already here. Today I'll show you how I do it. I'll start with a very basic solution and evolve from there to something more sophisticated with favorite searches and even widgets. Let's go to the computer. Let's start with the most basic solution of all. And I'll use this opportunity to show you a tip. Let's say you want to create a task with this phrase here. All you have to do is use the shortcut or create a task from the menu. <laughs> the same is true if you want to create a checklist. Select all the items and click here. It's a very good idea to learn and practice all these little tips to stop wasting time doing small tasks. Okay, this is how I do it. I keep it in a shopping note and I have different tasks. I'm using a shortcut again, but you can do it from here, divider, so enter. Now I have another one, palm center, wood. The main problem I see here is even if I check all these items, the mother task will not be completed. I also have to click here. For small things like this, I don't see it as a problem. I actually do this and I even have this note as a shortcut. It's easy to always get to this note and let's say I'm going again to the grocery store. I can uncheck this, add another item here or uncheck the item I need to buy. It's okay, I like it, but I'm not sure if I'll stick with this. Like I mentioned in a previous video, I'm experimenting. I challenge myself to use tasks and this is part of my experience. If you wanna know how this story will end, how is my final system working, subscribe to the channel. The video is coming soon. Okay, this is a real thing. This is how I do it. Imagine that how I create nested tasks in Evernote is the mother task. Now we have some subtasks inside the node. Create a thumbnail and title is one of them. I have already done that. I have already worked on the script. I'm recording the video. You'll notice that there is no recording and editing tasks. I'll explain that in a moment. For now, pay attention on the notes list and see what's gonna happen to the tasks icon. Did you see it? It changed to a grayish color, meaning that all subtasks are completed and also meaning that the mother task is completed. If you create a habit of reading the signs, you'll become much more productive. There's a video here on the channel where I explain all of them. So let's change this, for example, Cardsville. And now you can see three or three tasks completed on the first node and two of three tasks completed on the second node. I know there's a lot of friction here, many nodes that are not tasks, but we'll get there. I'll remove all that friction. First, let me uncheck this one, make it as an uncompleted task, and now let's go to the task store. This is good, a list of our tasks, but it's not what I wanna show you. Let's move to notes and make some changes here. We need to clean this a little bit. First thing is uncheck show completed tasks. And if you are comfortable with the titles of your notes, I mean your mother tasks, if you think you remember most of them, I think it's a good idea to change this to alphabetic order. Okay, hold that thought. Let's go back to the note for a moment. Here's why I don't have an added task. I do all this by myself. I'm never working on many videos at the same time. It's unfeasible. My work in progress widget is good enough. I can see there all the videos I'm working on. If you want to learn how I do it, check the link in the description below. You'll find my production workflow. Let's pretend for a moment that I have an editor and now I need to know how many videos are edited. Let's update this template.
Okay, let's go back to the tasks drawer. Now I know that this person is editing this video, many new features, and also this other video, how to create nested tags in every note. And if I go back to notes, I'll see all my mother tasks. Let's check this one, how I create nested tasks in every note. I can see here that the editor is still working on the video. Meanwhile, I can work on the description, clicking here and going to the note. Okay, let's say I finish the description. Let's go back to the tasks drawer. And we have here the mother task with only one subtask. Let's check the other video. I can do the same. I'm still waiting for the editor, so I can work on the description here. Go to the note. Okay, the description is complete. I can click here. And let's say the editor finished this one. He clicked here. Let's go back to tasks. And now that all the subtasks are completed, the mother task is not here anymore. And by the way, this template and others are available for channel members. If you like what I'm doing here, if it's been helpful, please consider becoming a member. You have access to perks like this and also help the channel. Let's keep moving. Future me here, the editor. <laughs> I was editing the video and I just remember that I have to make a change on my members page and I have to make that change before uploading this video. It's a real life example of how unique tasks inside a note are. I created this one just before the description task. So before publishing the video, I'll see that task. Back to the video. Again, I'll uncheck one of the tasks here. Let's uncheck the description. Let's remove the friction. Let's go to the notes view and use the filter. I want all notes in the YouTube notebook containing Let's type tasks here, not completed tasks. I'm going to save this search. Let's call it next videos. I'm going to add this to the shortcuts, save it. Now let's say I'm working here doing other things and I want to check the status of the next videos. All I have to do is click here. I know that I have two videos coming and both of them with tasks not completed. Let's check this one. You can see the, the same sign here. And okay, the editor is still working on this one. And what about this one? This is me. Again, we can do all this on the task drawer. And if I'm working with other people, it's a good idea, of course, to assign this task to myself. Doing this, we can all go to the task drawer and see what each one of us has to do. But as you know, I love Evernote Home, so let's add this to Evernote Home. I'm going to customize it, select a filtered notes widget, and I'm going to choose a saved search, next videos. The rules were applied here. It has to be inside the YouTube notebook with not completed tasks, and the name is next video. You can change this name if you wish. Done. And here we have it. This will work in so many different situations. If you watch this other video, you'll see that notes as mother tasks make sense even when taking meeting notes. If you want to learn more about Evernote and productivity, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.